So this afternoon I was walking into Joy's room and to my kind of a horror, all her clothes were pulled out of all her drawers and were sitting on the floor. Um, this happened because she is a toddler and likes to pull things out and throw them places. But as you can imagine, the mess was disastrous. Here she is, the culprit. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, okay. <laughs> So I decided to take it as an opportunity to go through her clothes again, which only really happens uh, when they are all out over the floor and I get frustrated with how many there are. Um, yeah, <laughs> stealing the show. So I grabbed my iPhone and I haven't cleaned my kitchen yet, but I did put on mascara and I'm gonna kinda show you what my process is for downsizing Joy's clothes and keeping a sane amount, I suppose. Right now, we're actually going through the downsizing process a little bit more. Um, the close is just the beginning. Um, I'll show you uh, what the table looks like. So we organized through all her clothes. These are all the clothes she owns except for what she's currently wearing. And I have placed them according to size. I'm sure it's very overwhelming for you guys, but right here we have the 12 month, which she is too big for, the 12 to 18 month, which she fits a selection of, 18 months, um, which is exactly where she's at, so that bulk of clothing right here. Mm -hmm. um, 18 to 24 months and then 24 to 2t which is also uh, definitely too big for her at this point in time i do like to take into consideration what we do like and what we don't like i know it might seem like a vain reason to keep something but since she's too young to decide for herself really her personal style and if i really just abhor a piece of clothing there is no reason to keep it in the arsenal of just in case we are fortunate enough to have a washer and dryer, you know, right here in the home. So having it get dirty too often is not really a valid excuse for me to hold on to a piece of clothing that I don't even like. So let's start the actual getting rid of stuff. All right, we have some things narrowed down to significant piles. We have our keep pile. We have our too big and still considering pile. And we have our too small and pretty much going away pile. I do want to clarify our giving away pile is not necessarily a throwaway pile or a junk pile. A lot of these clothes are still in good condition, so we'll either donate them to charity, reach out to a friend who has a younger baby than us, or um, we'll keep some, like one or two, if they're really special to us or have significant meaning or are given to like a really dear friend or family member, but I'll go over more of that later. Let's go ahead and address this portion of the getting rid of pile. Most of these are clothes that she has worn or hasn't worn. They're either her size or just a little bit below. Um, right over here on this edge, um, actually are some pieces I'm really attached to. Isn't it funny how the more a kid wears a piece of clothing, you get more attached to it? These two sweaters she wore so much when we went to New York and just in the winter time. And those pajamas um, are also really special. Some of her fit first big girl pajamas. So I can see it being completely likely that we will actually definitely keep those pajamas. Um, I'm not sure about the sweatshirts. They're just big and bulky and hard to store and we have tons of pictures of her in them. Um, as far as the rest of the clothes, um, most of these will be offered to someone just a little bit younger than Joy who maybe um, can get more use out of them. And if not, we have some favorite local thrift stores that we'll donate to. Um, we also have here on the end, these are like exactly her size for the most part um, or just a little bit bigger. These are clothes that I don't particularly care for or won't see her really using, which is totally okay. So we'll go ahead and just go ahead and pass those along to the bear closet or something similar. So the keep pile is significantly smaller. Um, as you can see, we have our first discard pile. We have our keep for the future pile, as in the upcoming six months or so. And then we have the keep now pile. Um, I should mention we do have probably two or three days worth in the laundry. I'm not concerned about going through this because I know there's stuff that she wears if we're washing it, um, and that works 
you know, it's not like toll, torn ho holes or anything like that, excuse me. Um, so let's go over um, what I did decide to keep and why. Right here we have three summer tank tops, five play shirts, three pairs of PJs with some extras um, for all those late night accidents. Um, just again, we do have some PJs in the wash. So total, she probably has about seven um, or so pairs of PJs just um, for weekly. Two super cute play dresses that she wears frequently. Three long sleeve shirts. Um, just because it's summertime doesn't mean we still don't get really chilly nights and some chilly cold fronts coming in. Four play pants, um, including a pair of jeans, and the rest are just very cozy, comfortable kind of leggings. Two pairs of shorts. This is one area that I would definitely want to expand and grab an extra pair of shorts for the summer. Finally, a super cute uh, BC cheerleading outfit that Daddy bought for her when she was like an infant. It's exactly her size now. The smallest I had was like 18 months. So we're obviously keeping it as long as she fits into it. Um, I think football season still has a little bit ways to go to start, but we'll keep it as long as she wears it. And even when she is too big for it, it's just gonna go into our special box. Joy has made a dent already, uh, taking all the clothes and relocating them to the couch. <laughs> Let's take a look. Right there, ah, perfect placement. <laughs> For the sake of transparency, um, this is Joy's closet. These are the clothes that we have hanging up for the for her. Some of them are clearly <laughs> too small for her right now. I just haven't gone through and filtered them out, but since we are, it seems like a good day to do that. There we go, we condensed it just a little bit. I only took like three pieces out. But what we did keep, these are kind of like the special slash nice clothes for, you know, Sunday or special events. For her uh, baby dedication, for instance, we wore that white dress right there in the middle. Easter Sunday was the pink. And then you just have, you know, some of these for uh, frilly occasions. You'll notice that there is a tag right there. Um, I know I am a big believer in like, oh, if you haven't worn it, don't keep it. But to be fair, it's an 18 month. Um, it's been too cold for her to wear it and she's been too small. So I'm hoping now that it's summertime, having a fancy shirt dress will be a nice touch. What we haven't tackled yet are the shoes. And I don't think I have the energy to tackle those today. She is definitely a shoe girl. She loves all her shoes. Um, Yep, and most of them are either too small or way too big. She only wears like three different pairs consistently, but somehow we still have all these shoes. Thanks for watching as I tackled my child's messy <laughs> situation of her clothes. I hope it made cohesive sense. I kept stopping the video to, you know, go and uh, take care of a child and a dog who kept playing, which is great. Um, lots of maintenance, so hopefully it made sense. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Um, too little, too much clothes. Um, what do you do for your children? How do you keep that mess um, and all that kind of clothes clutter down? Uh, thanks for watching. So while Veronica just showed you uh, one aspect to declutter, now we uh, are going to show you Joy's room and how cluttered it actually currently is. Woo! Why does your room get so cluttered, Joy? You don't know what to say? Yeah, well... Just wanted to mention also that Veronica is posting a blog that is going to be live right now. So you should check it out if you go to wifemeandtea.com. Um, it's a summertime blog and it'll be right there. She recently made it look really sweet too, the whole site. So let us know how it looks and Joy's going to just, just be reading. So yeah, 